Ever wondered how some individuals seem to effortlessly attract others towards them? Could it be a mysterious art or a science hidden in the realms of dark psychology and seduction? Welcome to the intriguing world of dark psychology, a realm where the power of seduction intertwines with the human psyche. In this video, we're uncovering seven tips that can help you harness this power, turning the art of attraction into a science. Prepare to delve into this intriguing world and discover the secrets of psychological seduction. The first tip to wield dark psychology and seduction is mastering the art of listening. It is not just about hearing words, but truly understanding the emotions and thoughts behind them. This is known as active listening, a skill that can create a deep bond and rapport between people. When you listen actively, you make the other person feel valued and important. This feeling of being understood and appreciated can be incredibly seductive. It opens doors for deeper conversations and connections, building a strong foundation for any relationship. But why is listening so powerful? It's because it gives you valuable insights into the other person's mind. Their desires, fears, dreams and secrets. Knowledge, as they say, is power. And in the game of seduction, it's the power to sway, to influence, to enchant. Listening, as simple as it may sound, is a potent weapon in the arsenal of psychological seduction. Tip number two, exploit the power of mirroring. In the realm of psychology, mirroring refers to the subconscious replication of another person's physical gestures or behaviors. It's our brain's way of saying, hey, I'm just like you. This creates a sense of familiarity and comfort, two vital ingredients for attraction. Think about it. When someone mirrors your actions, it's as if they're tuned into your frequency, understanding your rhythm, your tempo. It makes you feel acknowledged, doesn't it? This is because mirroring fosters a connection, a rapport, if you will, that can make others feel more at ease around you. But be careful, like a spice in a dish, mirroring should be used sparingly. Too much can come off as mimicry, which can be off-putting, so keep it subtle. A slight nod here, a similar posture there, it's all about the subtle cues. Mirroring, when done subtly, can be a fantastic tool for seduction. Our third tip, leverage the halo effect. Now, what is this halo effect? It's a fascinating cognitive bias where our overall impression of a person, their halo, if you will, influences how we feel and think about their character. It's why we often assume that good-looking people are also kind, smart or talented. Now, how does this apply to seduction? You see, if you can create an overall positive impression of yourself, it's likely to influence how the other person perceives your other traits. They'll see you through a rose-tinted halo, attributing positive qualities to you, even without concrete evidence. Perhaps you've displayed kindness, charm, or a sense of humor. These qualities can form your halo, making you appear more attractive and desirable. It's all about presenting that best version of yourself, establishing that positive impression that influences their perception of you. Harnessing the halo effect can significantly enhance your seduction game. Tip 4. Exploit the scarcity principle. Let's delve into an intriguing psychological phenomenon. The scarcity principle. This principle articulates that things which are scarce or perceived to be are often seen as more valuable. It's a fundamental aspect of human nature. We yearn for what's rare, what's elusive, what's hard to attain. Now, how do you apply this in the realm of seduction? You create a sense of scarcity around yourself. Be a mystery, a challenge. Don't be excessively available or predictable. When you're a bit elusive, you ignite curiosity, you amplify attraction. But here's the catch. You must strike a fine balance, too elusive, and you risk appearing aloof or disinterested too available and the allure of scarcity dissipates. It's an art, a dance of availability and absence, a game of hide and seek that keeps the intrigue alive. Remember, scarcity can make you more desirable. Tip five, use the power of reciprocity. Now, what do we mean by reciprocity? It's a social norm where if someone does something for you, you naturally want to do something for them in return. It's like an invisible force that drives us to give back, to even the score. Imagine someone pays you a compliment. You feel good, right? Now, there's this subtle urge to return the favor, to say something nice about them too. That's the power of reciprocity at play. Now, how can you use this in the complex dance of attraction? Simple. 
Be generous with your actions, your words, your time. Offer genuine compliments, lend a helping hand, show empathy. This creates a positive aura around you that people can't help but respond to. Remember, the key here is authenticity. Do not manipulate or force this principle. Let it flow naturally from your genuine intentions. Reciprocity, when used wisely, can be a potent tool for seduction. Our sixth tip, understand and use body language. Body language is a powerful tool in communication and can often say more than words. It's like a silent orchestra, subtly conveying your intentions and feelings without uttering a single word. Imagine this, a slight lean in during a conversation, a soft touch on the arm, a lingering gaze. These are all unspoken signals that can create a magnetic pull, drawing people in. It's an art form that, when mastered, can enhance your seduction skills immensely. But it's not just about your own body language, it's also about reading others. Being able to interpret these silent signals allows you to respond appropriately, creating a dynamic interaction that can be incredibly seductive. It's like a dance, each move responded to with another, building a rhythm and chemistry that can be hard to resist. Mastering body language can take your seduction skills to the next level. Our final tip, tap into emotional triggers. In the realm of dark psychology, emotional triggers hold an extraordinary power. These are feelings that can instantly transport us back to a moment, a memory or a sensation. They are deeply ingrained in our psyche and can influence our behavior in profound ways. Imagine being able to identify these triggers. It's like having a key to the hidden rooms of a person's mind. By understanding what makes someone tick, you can tailor your approach to resonate with their deepest feelings. Fear, excitement, nostalgia, longing. These are all powerful triggers that can be used to your advantage. But remember, with great power comes great responsibility. While it's possible to use these triggers to seduce, it is essential to use this knowledge ethically and with respect for the individual's autonomy. Tapping into emotional triggers can make you irresistible. But remember, the power of seduction lies in its subtlety and respect for the other person's emotions. Now you've learned the seven powerful tips to harness the power of dark psychology for seduction. From mastering the art of listening, mirroring techniques, and the halo effect, to exploiting the scarcity principle, reciprocity, body language, and emotional triggers, each tip holds immense potential. Combined, they form a potent toolkit for psychological seduction. Yet it's crucial to stress the importance of using these techniques responsibly. Remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Use these techniques wisely and you can become a master of psychological seduction.